Hello, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. And Gabby in the background, and Marla in the background, Desmond in the background. But we're going to get it done anyways, despite all of these things. Um, we are in my primary account, Christopher, in Last Outlaws, and I wanted to go through the various wonders. I am only going to be covering, I guess, wonders that I feel are of war importance. Um, you can feel free to explore all the other ones that are available by touching on said wonder um, and going to replace. You don't actually have to replace it. You can get information on all of these by touching on them. Uh, but the first of which that I feel is very, very drastically misused is Versailles. Versailles is what we will refer to as a residual wonder. Uh, thus to mean when it is destroyed, it still does affect the surrounding area and underneath it. Uh, what effect is that? Well, it actually slows down the nearby invading armies, as you can plainly see and read on the right-hand side. Uh, wonders increase in hit points based on the age that you are in. Uh, it increases your troop health by 10%, and it slows down your enemies by 40%. So it's not a damage reduction. It is literally just a speed reduction, which in turn might be a damage reduction, but it's not the same as, not again identical to barbed wire, per, for instance, where it does the slowdown and has the damage reduction. Uh, where is Versailles best used? Where you don't want people attacking from, it is best used. Uh, thus, to mean you can see that I've got a hole in my wall here but the majority of people would not choose to attack there because Versailles is sitting right there. Uh, people will not try and drop near Versailles. So in this instance, I am using it to prevent people from coming in and walking in and taking it down my town center. And if they choose to take down the town center by going through Versailles, even after it's destroyed, they will be sitting there for quite some time. Uh, and likely the town center would pop if it was a war attack and they would lose the battle. Uh, we are in war, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll scout through. I guess we could start with my base because I want to outline the secondary usage of Versailles. We don't want to edit the war base. Here's how you can actually view your active current war base without going to edit and exposing where all of your traps and whatnot are. So you'll notice that I went one up to Paris's. And now I'm going to mine. So the secondary use of Versailles is in the middle of a base. So it is put in the middle of the base where you feel that enemy troops are going to have to go. Say hi, Marla. Hi. You want to pop in there? Yeah. There you go. Um, and feel free, free to tell me to be quiet or interrupt me if I miss anything. Okay. <laughs> so you want to put that in the middle of the base in order to actually slow the troops down. You want them to force your enemy to have to go through Versailles. If you put it on the edge out here, or over here, or any of those spots where you know you don't have a hole in the wall, etc., like the previous usage that I outlined, uh, it's wasted because people can very easily avoid it. They can rally around it, they can start, you know, typically when I see Versailles on the edge of a base that's horribly used, what I do is I choose to attack on either side and then I just simply rally around so that I start on one side of Versailles and I finish on the other side of Versailles. Mm -hmm. um, that way it's, it's not even affecting my troops, which makes me happy. <clears throat> this usage, as you can see, I've got my town center down here, forcing people to actually come in to take out the town center, but in the very center of my base where I've got some spawning units, I've got some defensive buildings lying around. Complemented with that, I also have my generals. Uh, people are going to have to go through that. They have to actually uh, travel through there. Or alternately, they're going to have to go all the way around, which isn't going to be very beneficial. Um, so those are the two primary uses. Uh, Versailles is best complemented with, oh, I don't know, anything. Typically, you see it with Forbidden City, though. Which? Versailles? Versailles. <clears throat> so Forbidden City or Acropolis. Um, 
Yeah. Well, what's the other choice other than Versailles? There's not really any other choice other than Versailles, and that's kind of the, the point. No, you no, could go, go Angkor, Angkor Wat. Wat. Angkor Wat is a good one. Maybe we'll cover that in a different video. Which one do you want to see me cover next, I guess, is the, the only question that's uh, remaining. I will be doing these based on a requirements order. Uh, I, I would definitely say Angkor Wat is a war... A warring warring one so maybe we'll do that one next unless you have a different idea and I want to see that in the comments below um, did I miss anything uh, about Versailles yeah uh, no 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 uh, we covered all the uh, big points and yeah I, I do feel it's like one of the more underutilized very underutilized uh, so prevent people from going into a specific location or forcing people to actually have to go through it in the middle of your base, center of your base or edge of your base where you don't want to have people attacking from. Yeah, it essentially can be used either as extra walls um, or extra walls or slowing down troops. Yeah. Very good. That's all from us. Keep your sticks on the ice and have a good time. Haha, <laughs> there it is. Oh, the next one I think we should cover is the Kremlin. You want the Kremlin? Yeah, we'll do one on the Kremlin because I think it's totally underused and it's totally awesome. Okay, we're doing the Kremlin next. We'll talk to you guys later.